Hi everyone, uh, joining you today from uh, Treaty 6 territory, the uh, traditional territory of the Cree, the Stoney, and the Chippewan uh, peoples in Edmonton, Alberta. Uh, I'm here in a hotel room uh, getting ready for uh, Open Education Global Conference that I just arrived for. Um, so I'm going to keep this short here for the last week here, but uh, congratulations. It has been a fantastic four weeks of facilitation. Um, and uh, I've, I've really enjoyed uh, uh, everything that you have done. Um, as I've said to some of your groups, uh, this is probably one of the strongest cohorts that has come through this course. Uh, every facilitation team had something unique and different to offer, and I picked up a couple of tips myself uh, from, from some of your work. So, uh, so thank you for a great four weeks of learning. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, watching you all practice your skills. Um, so for this final week, I'm keeping the activities light um, because I'd like you to concentrate on your final paper, and I'll talk about that in just a moment. Uh, but first, uh, I do have one activity, and this is just an optional activity, but it's a good one, and it kind of gets you into this, the mindset of writing your final paper. So I'd like you to revisit your 321 blog post, the one that you wrote in the first week of the course, uh, and, and just take a look at it and see if uh, anything has changed about how you feel about facilitation. Uh, the, uh, you know, the questions you had, were they answered? The metaphor, do you think the metaphor might be different now that you have gone through and have experienced facilitation yourself? Um, if you'd like to, you can write a blog post, uh, sort of a response, a reflective blog post around that 321 and the journey you have just come on in the course. It's not required, uh, but sometimes some students do find it helpful as kind of a first activity to, to get the juices flowing to write that final paper. So um, so even though it's an optional activity, I do think you, it, it, it's worthwhile for you to revisit the 321 blog post and at least think about it reflectively if you don't, uh, if you don't write uh, an actual blog post about it. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about your final paper. So the format of your final paper, it's a personal or reflective paper. That's a very specific type of writing. And if you haven't written a reflective paper before, um, there's some information on the Royal Roads uh, Writing Center site around how to write a reflective paper. And I'll share that link with you uh, in this message here so you can check out uh, what it means to write a reflective paper. Um, while it is a little less formal than, say, an argumentative kind of essay or paper, it still does require you to have some academic rigor. So it still requires uh, a little bit of research in there. It still requires that you cite your sources, that you create your bibliography, that it follows APA formatting. So it does have to have some academic rigor, even though it is meant to be a, a more reflective kind of paper. And the content of the paper that I'm looking for is about this journey that you have been on, specifically around the week that you and your team facilitated. What were the decisions that uh, guided your facilitation plan? What worked? What didn't work? Um, um, you know, how, how, how did your team work together? How did you divide the tasks? Uh, trying to connect the work that you did in your facilitation week with maybe some of the literature uh, that we have looked at uh, over the course of this course, um, trying to connect the work that you did in your facilitation week with some of those best practices, with the community of inquiry model. Um, that's really what I'm looking for there. Now, you can also um, you know, touch on perhaps some of the learnings that you got from the other facilitation teams. So maybe there was something that they did that you thought demonstrated a best practice that you want to talk about, or maybe there was some learning in one of those four weeks that you want to talk about uh, in your paper. You certainly have a little bit of room and latitude to do that, but really the bulk of the paper should be about the work that you and your team did and, and how it, how it uh, helped you learn and understand the role of a facilitator in a digital learning environment a little bit uh, better and a little deeper. Um, I've also asked you to include the learner's voice. You all have comments uh, and you all have like a set of data from your week. Um, we've included this intentionally and, and, and I, I want you to include some of that voice within your paper. Your whole paper doesn't have to be the, the learner voice, but uh, perhaps do a little synthesis. Were there themes that emerged from the data? Was there one or two comments that really kind of resonated with you or stuck out with you or things that you want to address from that learner feedback? Include that in your paper. I just want to hear you, you paid attention to 
uh, to your learner's voice in your final paper. Uh, and it's a great um, it's a great way to kind of uh, uh, get prepped for a research paper that you might be writing because here is an actual set of data. You're going to be interpreting it and you get a chance to incorporate that into, um, into a paper. So, so think of it as uh, a research component uh, for your final paper. The mechanics of the paper uh, between 2000 2250 for word count, APA formatted. Uh, it's due on Sunday, October 22nd, except for the final facilitation week, you have a couple of extra days because you were the final facilitation week, so to kind of make up for that. All right, um, that's it. Uh, um, thank you. There is going to be no more synchronous sessions and no more video messages from me. Uh, as I said, I have really enjoyed uh, this course and watching all of you put your facilitation skills into action for the last four weeks. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I hope you, you learned something and... I will uh, talk to you soon on this journey as a 